Oh, this you crazy mother. Hello everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Francesco and what I do in this video is just break down productivity tips, tools and techniques to help you move forward in your productivity. So I'm lucky enough today for Mark to be filming. Uh, Mark's my flatmate, I'm gonna flip the camera. <laughs> Here's Mark, thank you very much Mark. <laughs> but today I just wanna go over, Todoist posted a really good blog about what their year ahead looks like. And I just wanted to go through a few things that they have on their blog, uh, which is, looking good for next year. So let's go through these. What, the first thing that they mention is that they're giving major updates to do it to do this for business. And that's quite important because obviously with an enterprise product, that's when they're kind of big sales and big things like that are gonna be. So it's gonna be really valuable to see how they make this into a team management slash project management tool. Um, and it's gonna be really exciting to see how they're gonna do that. Because obviously with teams, it involves a lot more kind of you know, bigger holistical viewing things, and I think that's gonna be really valuable. Which kind of leads me on to the, I think it's the fifth point they've put down, which is completely new ways to organize and visualize your upcoming tasks. And this is something that a lot of kind of people in the productivity space have been talking about. It's the ability to see Todoist in a different light, and I've been seeing this recently, where you only see a kind of list view on Todoist, Versus obviously with Trello, you've got those kind of boards and things going on. Evernote, you've got the kind of note things going on. So it's really valuable that, you know, with Todoist, you could see a different type of view. Maybe it's boards, maybe it's like stacks or snippets, but I think that could be really valuable. Todoist have also mentioned that they're adding extensions, which can be really, really exciting too. So I think that's going to be linking out a lot more to kind of Trello, Evernote, um, IFTTT, I think that could be really valuable in improving people's like combinations with using other applications as well. So I think I think that could be really, really powerful. So they've also mentioned that they want to improve native desktop apps, which could be really valuable because obviously with, you know, Chromebooks, with Macs, with uh, Windows, I think they could do a lot more to kind of make the experience a bit more kind of functional to the PC or to the Mac. I think that it could add a lot more value. Maybe even what Dropbox did with that tiny little dot on the screen, being able to upload things to there instantly. I think they could have a drag and drop button that could be really powerful. And the one more thing that they're adding is new abilities uh, and also new apps to their wearable selection. Obviously they've launched the Apple Wear device last year and obviously they launched the Android smartwatch as well, uh, feature last year and the year before that I think anyway. But I think that could be really valuable because I want to see the way that they do that kind of and move to that kind of section. I think it could be really, really great. So anyway, there are a few updates on what Todoist is doing. If you haven't checked out the blog post, I definitely recommend it because they do this really cool year in review. And if you've been using Todoist for like longer than a month, you can see the way you've been productive, what most popular days you have been productive, how many tasks you completed, and also where you rank. And it also gives you loads of discounts to loads of awesome productivity stuff if you're a massive nerd. So thank you very much, everyone. Make sure. Have a great week, keep productive, and I'll see you very soon. Cheers, guys.